లక్ష్మి గారు ఇప్పుడు మనం మన సన్మాన కార్యక్రమాన్ని ప్రారంభిద్దాం ఇది సన్మానం కాదు ఇది సత్కారం అంటాను సత్కారం కూడా కాదు మనం వారి పాదాలకి ఇవ్వగలిగినటువంటి ఒక చిన్న పుష్పం అని అంటాను ఎందుకంటే మహిళగా ఏమి సాధించాలన్నా అన్ని అడ్డంకులే ఉంటాయి ఎన్ని అడ్డంకులు దాటితే బయటికి రాగలం వచ్చిన తర్వాత చేసే పోరాటంలో ఎన్ని అపజయాలు చూస్తే ఒక్క విజయాన్ని సాధించగలం ఇది కేవలం ఒక మహిళ మాత్రమే అర్థం చేసుకోగలదు అలాంటి ఒక సక్సెస్ఫుల్ విమెన్కి ఈరోజు తమ కుటుంబ సభ్యుల సహకారం ఎంత ముఖ్యమో తెలియచేయడానికి ఆ కుటుంబ సభ్యుల మధ్యలోనే ఈ కార్యక్రమాన్ని నిర్వహించి సమాజంలో ఎంతో ముఖ్యమైన భూమికని పోషిస్తున్న కొంతమందిని ఇక్కడ తానా మహిళలుగా స్టార్ విమెన్ ఆఫ్ తానాగా గుర్తించి సత్కరించడం ఈనాటి కార్యక్రమంలో ప్రథమ లక్ష్యం అందులో ముందుగా ఈనాటి ముగ్గురు అతిథుల్ని నేను ఒకే ఒక్క మాటతో పరిచయం చేయాలనుకుంటున్నాను ఆడవాళ్ళు స్త్రీలు శక్తి స్వరూపులు సౌమ్యము అందము కలిపితే ఒక అమ్మ తయారవుతుంది ఒక స్త్రీ తయారవుతుంది ఆ ముగ్గురికి ప్రతిరూపంగా ఈరోజు మన ముగ్గురు అతిథులు ఉన్నారు అందానికి అంటే స్త్రీ అంటే అందం అంటారు సృష్టిలో అన్నిటికంటే అందమైనది స్త్రీ అంటారు అలాంటి అందాల భామ కిరీటాన్ని సొంతం చేసుకునే నీనా దావులూరి మనతో ఉన్నారు సామర్థ్యానికి ప్రతీక మహిళ అంటారు ఆ సామర్థ్యంతో రాజకీయాల్లో కడుగు పెట్టి కేవలం కుటుంబాన్నే కాదు సమాజాన్ని సైతం మారుస్తాను అన్నటువంటి అరుణ మిల్లర్ కాట్రగడ్డ మనతో ఉన్నారు అండ్ సౌమ్యంగా సాహిత్య సంగీతాలతో కళలతో సరస్వతీదేవి రూపంగా మనతో ఉన్నారు శుభావేదుల ఈ ముగ్గురిని ముందుగా ఫెలిసిటేట్ చేస్తాం రైట్ మరి ఈనాటి కార్యక్రమంలో ముందుగా మన చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ నీనా దావులూరి గారిని పరిచయం చేసి వారిని వేదిక మీదకి ఆహ్వానించడానికి మౌనికాని వేదిక మీదకి రావాల్సిందిగా ఆహ్వానిస్తున్నాను నమస్తే అండి అందరు బాగున్నారా ఎవరు చెప్పట్లేదు అంటే బాగాలేదన్నట్ట వినిపించట్లేదు వేరే వేరే ప్రాంతాల నుంచి వచ్చారండి చాలామంది న్యూజెర్సీ అంటే ఇంతేనా అన్నట్టు మీరు ఏవి తిని కూర్చుంటే అలా బాగుండదు అందరు బాగున్నారా పర్ఫెక్ట్ సో ఆన్ దిస్ అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ విమెన్స్ డే లెట్ మీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ యూ టు అన్ ఇన్స్పైరింగ్ అండ్ ఎక్సెప్షనల్ తెలుగమ్మాయి Last year, she was one of the 14,000 young women to vie for the coveted title of Miss America 2014 and its 550,000 scholarship. This past September in Atlantic City, not only did she win the title of Miss America, but she gained international acclaim by becoming the second consecutive Miss New York and the first contestant of Indian descent to win this Miss America competition. Over the course of her service as Miss America, she will log 20,000 miles per month, traveling the country to address an array of audiences on her platform, quote-unquote, celebrating diversity through cultural competency. She also serves as the National Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, the national platform partner of the Miss America organization and also advocates for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a huge round of applause for our own Miss America 2014, Nina Davluri! Nina Davluri, can you felicitate me as a leader? ఈరోజు ఇక్కడ ఉంటాం నాకు చాలా సంతోషంగా ఉంది ఎందుకంటే వాల్ ఫస్ట్ ఈరోజు మా అమ్మ నాన్న ఉన్నారు ప్లీజ్ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్లాస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ బట్ ఆల్సో మీరందరూ ఉన్నారు అండ్ ఫర్ మీ టు నైట్ రియలీ ఫీల్స్ లైక్ ఐమ్ విత్ ఫ్యామిలీ 
um, because serving as, as Miss America is truly an honor. But also being Telugu, which is a huge part of who I am and my cultural upbringing, and being able to share my culture um, with Americans all across the country is also an honor. So first and foremost, thank you all for your warm welcome, and thank you so much for having me. <laughs> So before I get into a little bit of why I'm here today and what I do as Miss America, I really wanted to first talk about the organization itself. The Miss America organization is the largest scholarship provider for young women across the country. We make available over $45 million each year for contestants across the entire country, which is really incredible. And I think a lot of people really get confused as to who Miss America is. And she is first and foremost a businesswoman. Um, and a lot of people see, you know, the final night on television, and they see the live telecast on ABC, and they think that we're about swimsuits and these gorgeous evening gowns, and they think that it's only about beauty. And it is so much more than that, because what people really truly don't see is what I do every single day. And my day is by no means, my job is by no means walking around in a swimsuit every day, trust me. It is being able to be relatable to every single person that I meet and be genuine and personable to every single person that I touch. And that goes from kindergartners to CEOs all the way to the President of the United States, literally. Um, thank you. <laughs> And so quite a few people uh, don't understand that we're first and foremost a nonprofit organization and that there is a significant difference between Miss America and Miss USA. Um, we, Miss America is the longest competition. I don't really like using the word pageant because it's so much more than that. But we have been the longest competition in the world. Um, we're the people who started, I guess, this idea of what pageantry is today. And we're the only competition in the world that also has a talent portion. Um, and so once you win Miss America, I do not continue on to Miss Universe. I don't go to Miss World. Those are two completely different organizations than who we are. And I want to just clarify that there, what many people don't see is that when you enter this competition, you have a 10-minute private interview with a panel of seven judges, and they can ask you any sort of question is fair game, from political events to current events to what's going on in your state, your nation, um, to personal questions, to your platform. Um, anything is really fair game, and that's truly where um, you win the competition. And so a little bit more about kind of my journey on and becoming this title, I competed for Miss New York twice. And um, I remember the first time I competed, this has always been a childhood dream of mine to become Miss America. I grew up watching Miss America on television um, and I knew that this was going to be the job of a lifetime. And so when I started competing, I said, okay, you know, I, I need to find a way to pay for my education. I plan on attending medical school for the following year. And so thankfully, as Miss America, I won $50,000 in scholarship. As Miss New York, I won an additional $10,000 in scholarship. Thank you. So I now have $60,000 to put towards my education, towards my graduate school. But throughout the entire process of me competing in this organization, I've won a total a total of $91,000 that I've been able to put myself through college with the generous help of both my parents. <laughs> but aside from that, when I decided to compete for Miss New York, I competed the first time, and I was fortunate enough to be second runner-up um, to Miss New York the first year I competed. And as kind of was mentioned in my intro, the, the girl who won Miss New York, I should say, uh, was, her name was Mallory Hagen. She won Miss New York that year. And last year I was watching Miss America and Mallory went on to win the Miss America title representing the state of New York. And when that happened, I was so emotional for so many different reasons. And I remember calling my mom, who I talked to, she's one of my best friends, it, with my sister. And I remember calling her saying, Mom, I am never going to win Miss America. What are the chances that the state of New York is going to win back to back two years in a row? It's just not going to happen for me. And she said, well, Nina, 
why don't you focus on winning Miss New York first, and then we can talk about Miss America. <laughs> um, and so with that kind of being said, I also remember sitting down with my sister, because when you compete, it is a commitment. And so I remember sitting down with her and her asking me, you know, what are you going to gain from this organization? Why is it that you want this so badly? What, what are you going to do with this title? Um, because the truth is, Miss America, this is the first year that people have really started talking about the organization again. Um, and so I said to her, Mina, <laughs> so my parents thought it was cute to name us rhyming names. It's Nina and Mina, um, which I think they regret a little now. But um, so I said to her, Mina, I truly believe that three to five years from now, Miss America will be an ethnic girl. And I know that it can be me because it's so timely to represent the demographic of what America is today. And I went in with that goal. Thank you. And I went in with that goal. I was able to, because essentially 14,000 young women compete for this title across the country every year. And so to be able to set yourself apart and market yourself um, and really become the first Indian, but also stay true to my American culture, because obviously that's a huge part of who I am, um, was really what I wanted to, to show the judges and to so, show this organization that we can be in this role. And so a little bit about after reaching the title of Miss America, like I said, everyone sees that one night. And I'm traveling on average 20,000 miles a month. Um, every day is different. Um, every event is so different. It's really one of the best career fairs in the world because you are exposed to so many different opportunities. Um, but aside from that, I think I really wanted to touch on how I got to where I am today, especially since Today is International Women's Day. I think it's really important um, to kind of touch on the women who have influenced me in my life. Um, and for me, I have to say, first and foremost, it was my grandmother. Um, my grandmother truly, thank you. I haven't seen my grandmother in about three years now. Um, she's still in Vijaywada, bless her heart. I think a lot of people stalked her house. <laughs> Um, but she was the one who really, who, she was the first woman I remember seeing speak in front of an audience and being able to own a room when she talks. I mean, when she spoke, people listened. And that was such a valuable skill that women need today, um, to be able to succeed and to be able to present yourself um, and, and advocate for yourself and say that there is more to, excuse me, that there is more um, to what I have to offer than just a pretty face. And that really went hand in hand with, with the Miss America organization, what I was, what I'm, continuing to do for this year. Um, but she really, truly, I mean, for her, she always put her, I, I say this with love, is that she was so driven and put her career goals, I think, always in the forefront. And so for me, that's something I was really able to take away from her, learning that. But also my mother. Um, and I think this is really, this is a message really for Indian parents, especially since we're at a youth convention and youth conference. Um, and my parents have really, have been, I mean, we've been through such a roller coaster talking about this now here. Um, and I haven't seen them since Christmas, so, you know, I'm a little emotional. But um, my parents truly, what I'm so proud to say is that they encouraged me no matter what I wanted to do. And I have had peers. And I've had so many of my peers come up to me and say that they feel pressured to go into a certain field, to become a doctor, engineer, lawyer, whatever, that we think are the most, are the best fields to go into. And my parents truly let me cultivate the skills and talents that I had. I was blessed to be a, a, a great dancer. I was blessed to have the speaking abilities that come naturally. Um, I was blessed by my mom to look like her. Um, and so to, to really utilize those skills um, in a different way was what they taught me. Um, and they encouraged me and supported me when no one else did. Truly, I mean that. Because to get here, everyone wants to, you know, wants to jump on the bandwagon. And I'm so thrilled that um, you know, I can represent the Indian community, but my parents have seen me struggle through the ins and outs and everything and have stood by my side, stood up for me, um, and really encouraged me and pushed me in the most positive way. So really, truly, thank you to my mom, my grandmother, and both my parents. <laughs> I'm, I, 
I would, I, they're a little shy, but if mom and dad want to come up and say hi or just, I would love that, yeah. <laughs> just a quick wave. Dad's probably out and about, <laughs> but there's mom. Um, and finally, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up really quickly. Um, I just want to say um, thank you, thank you, thank you to your generosity, your warm welcome, your love. I have truly felt so so loved. That's the, only, that's the only word I can keep saying. So loved by the entire Indian community, especially the Telugu community. Um, I have received every... <laughs> I, I have res please know that I've received every positive note, message, tweet, anything. Um, I, it's been received, and I just want to thank you all for that. And um, I'm only going to say this because I'm amongst family, but I really have to end with thank you, Swami, because I give it to him. And there are days when I wake up and think, am I deserving of this? Why has, you know, why me? Um, and he's really given me the strength to continue and to help me understand that he doesn't give you things that you can't handle. So um, I'm honored to represent all of you and thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nina. Thank you, Nina. I request you to be on this stage.